Hello, Saka Fed. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making for you a Caribbean style popsicle. It's very easy to make. You only need five ingredients and it's full of flavor. So let's get going and I'm going to show you how I make this really, really easy recipe. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. So first we're gonna need some fresh coconut milk, condensed milk, almond extract, grated nutmeg, 2% milk, or you can use whole milk. And you need some molds, like popsicle molds. That's all you need. Our next step, we are going to go over to the stove. Okay, so I have a pot. Got my wooden spoon. First thing I'm gonna do, turn this on. Okay, and then I'm going to pour the coconut milk. Now, if you can grate your coconut and get that fresh coconut, it's the best thing. But I have frozen coconut milk, which is just as good. It's actually fresh, but they freeze it. So that's how you know it's a good one. You can also get the canned ones, but look for something that's at least 100% uh, coconut milk and not all the additives in there. So we're gonna heat, warm that up just a bit. You don't wanna overheat it, just, to, just warm it up. You can make so many different flavors. We have, you can make pineapple. I remember when I was back in the Caribbean, they had pineapple, you can do soursop, mango, just about any tropical fruit you can make popsicle with. And they're so delicious. Actually, they used to call them creamsicles. So now what I'm gonna do, the milk is warming up. I'm gonna put this into it and that's the condensed milk. Then I have my milk. And then now I'm adding nutmeg. And I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of my I'm on extract, or in this case, I can just use the cap and just put one, two caps. That's it. Let me just do. Now this, you don't want to bring it to a boil. Like I say, you just want to warm it up. And then I'm going to just do a little taste test to see how sweet it is. So I'm just going to do it like this. Oh, it's good. That's gonna be good popsicle. Okay, so it's all done now. It's nice and warm. I'm gonna turn it off and just cool it down for a few minutes. Okay, guys, so now we are going to put it in our mold. I'm going to pour it into a measuring cup because I need the spout so I don't get the spill. Now this is great, especially this time of year. Instead of buying popsicle, you can make your own. You can control the sugar content. You can control what kind of milk you use and the flavors. Now, if you were making, for example, mango flavor, you would blend your mango and just add your milk with your condensed milk. Same thing. Okay, so the next step, I'm gonna put it in the freezer and I think we're gonna leave it today. So maybe about six hours and then I can show you the finished product. Hey guys, I'll see you then when it's frozen. So the popsicle, we had to leave it to freeze overnight and this is a day later. So this is what it looks like. Looks very delicious. I'm gonna give it a taste. Mmm. That's really good, really good. That condensed milk mixed with that coconut, it's a great combination. Mm. 
It's really good. Try it, guys. you like it. And there you have it, guys, our finished popsicle. Thank you for watching Sacrifice Food. Until next time, have a great day and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.